far from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. If you notice, maybe it's kind of hard to tell, but the drain is starting to change just a little bit. You're starting to get into that Oh, it kind of carries all the way through here and across Minnesota and into Wisconsin. Now we're getting into that kind of upper Midwest. A um, little bit marshier, a little wetter, a little bit more rolling. Uh, a lot of crops that further out west because of the lack of water are not possible or at least not economically viable you get these farmsteads that are uh, very much little islands but out from them you start to see an awful lot I'm not sure exactly it doesn't look like corn that stubble field over here, that looks like that could have been corn. But you're really into some of the breadbasket of American agriculture. But like I said, if you look ahead, you start to see it starting to roll more uh, as, as the terrain changes. A lot of this was glaciated and glaciated to the north in particular. I believe it was the Wisconsin Glacier. Oh, and one thing that, let's see if we can get this. This is one of my favorites. Is that cow, or that, these sculptures here. I will uh, just let it play by right there. Um, those are always kind of cool. You know, it's, I, I, oh, and, and there's another one. This is, you know, people who tell, this is, and this is the Vermilion River. Actually, that was probably just the, this the post on the car, but anyone who thinks that this it's not pretty country. I am of the opinion that I have been in 49 of the 50 states that there is not a place in America that is not beautiful. And I really mean